Hello friends, welcome to my new Java programming tutorial. Today we will discuss what are primitive data types in Java. So let's move ahead and see what actually primitive data types are. So friends, here if you look into this figure, then primitive data types are say divided into various types. Here primitive data types are divided say in a, into a boolean type and numeric types. The boolean type hold the boolean values such as true, false and numeric types hold the whole number values and float, float values such as uh, having decimal in between. So if you talk about boolean type, it has only one data type which is by the name boolean and it holds only true or false and if we move further the numeric types which are again divided into integral types and floating point types. Here integral types are divided into character type which holds uh, say the character values and the, the data type which holds the character value is by name char. Integral types also have the integer types means which hold the whole number values. So integer types are divided say into four data types byte, short, int and long. If you talk about these types, these represent the whole numbers which a data type can hold and if we move further then if we talk about floating point types then there are two data types float and double so friends if you look into this slide then you will see that there are eight data types which are byte, short, int, long, char, float, double and boolean and each of these have different sizes and here in the column third and fourth it shows that from which range to which it varies so if you talk about the size of these data types then byte holds 1 byte or say 8 bits. The range through which the byte varies is from minus 128 to 127. If you talk about short then short has 2 bytes or 16 bits and it varies from minus 32768 negative value to 32767. And similarly as soon as we go down the size is getting double from byte it was one byte short it doubled to two bytes and int it uh, doubled to four bytes and long it have has eight bytes so the range which they can hold also got increased and the developer when using this data type say integer long short or byte they have to take care that whichever number they want to use it is it's in their range so if suppose the number is very much long say uh, around this then he has to take a long data type for it and if he want the if he knows that his value will not increase from minus two one four seven four eight three six four eight then he he will be using say integer type and if you move further then there is one character type which is like uh, data type is by the name char it uh, it also holds two bytes or sixteen bits and these and what the value it holds it's hold from 0 to 65536 means it doesn't hold any negative value it have only positive uh, values and if we now move ahead then there are say floating point data types which are like float and double and the size they hold is the float holds 4 bytes or 32 bits and double holds 8 bytes or 62 bits so here uh, if you see that uh, they ranges from say very much precision to say 10 to the power minus 45 to 10 to the power 38 something like in, uh, in decimal. So if you want to use some say floating point values like decimal values then you have to use float and double data type. And at last there is a boolean data type which is a, a special data type which doesn't have any size say the size is not applicable to boolean data types and it holds only say two values the which are the say keywords or say which are the literals for boolean which are the true or and false so whenever you want to use conditions and we have to check that whether something is equal to something or something is not equal to something we use the boolean data types which checks whether based on true or false of the value so here uh, the boolean data type also has no size plus in say in different programming language like C, C++ 
the boolean, boolean type hold the value 0 or 1 for true or false but here in java it holds only two literal values say true and false so friends these were the eight, eight primitive data types in java so friends if you like this video then please like us on facebook and youtube share this video on facebook with your friends and if you have any comments to share then share it below you can also subscribe my video on youtube and you can also visit my blog at www.hubberspot.com for more java tutorials and source code thank you very much have a nice day take care bye bye